I'm Chuck Wright. I've lived in Spartanburg County all my life. And I've been a deputy with the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Department for over 17 years. For the next few minutes, I would like to tell you why I should be your sheriff. And I promise you the citizens' complaints will be handled differently and more fairly. So you've already investigated this incident and that's what, well, that's what was happening? There's not a complaint about somebody being in Tryon except from you. But I need your help to make this happen. Crime is rising and our clearance rate is down. FBI data show you have a 1 in 65 chance of being the victim of a violent crime in the city of Spartanburg. An analytics site says that makes Spartanburg the 20th most dangerous city in the country. Our families, our friends, and our citizens of this county deserve better than what they're getting. I ain't arguing about that. It is unacceptable that our children could obtain drugs so easily. Heading to Spartanburg County now, an investigation is underway after multiple students were given THC gummies at Spartanburg High School. Authorities say at least 11 students consumed the gummies. One of them was even taken to the hospital. Larcenies are up, and we all know that most of the merchandise stolen is being traded for drugs. We will do more to eradicate this problem from our county. The Spartanburg County Coroner's Office says 36 people just this year have already died from drug overdose in the county and 11 more potentially this week. It's a problem they say is getting way out of hand. We are not doing all we can to get rid of the drugs in our neighborhoods. Under our administration, we will be aggressive in attacking this problem. Is everyone being paid right now? Actually, actually it is. <laughs> It sure is. Yeah, exactly. So are you all being paid right now to stand around? Because I don't see you doing much. Nobody wants to answer that question? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. He gets paid the same no matter what. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How you doing today? Unbelievable. Really? Unbelievable. I bet you are getting paid overtime to do nothing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's awesome. Um, and what's your name? Mike. Mike what? Miranenko. Miranenko. In your position? I'm an investigator. Investigator. A lot of investigators here. You would think they could find employees that don't earn as much as investigators to do this kind of job. Who approved this project? The sheriff. Yeah. The sheriff did? Yeah. Okay. And who's in charge here? Sheriff? He is, he's the sheriff, so yeah. we work, work for him. So. Yeah. yeah, we know that. Are you being paid right now? I am. And what are you doing right now? I'm waiting on a trailer. Waiting on a trailer. Everybody's waiting. Yeah. Nobody's doing anything. Everybody's waiting. That's, that's how government works, right? Yeah. I'm not worried about hurting a drug dealer's feelings. I want to make the criminals uncomfortable as I can possibly make them. We will aggressively patrol our neighborhoods and our businesses. We will get to know our people in our zones and our business owners to help better meet their needs. We will have a SWAT team. <music> Vehicle deaths is on the rise in Spartanburg County. We have been leading the state or close to the top in the past 10 years, as long as I can remember, in vehicle deaths in Spartanburg County. We're going to address that issue. Spartanburg County is number one for traffic deaths in the state. Greenville County is number two at 49 traffic deaths so far this year. The coroner says no matter the circumstance, this is not a title he wants for the county. We're at a distinction now that I'm not very proud of and I would like to see turned around. We're going to address this issue by having public safety checkpoints. We will educate the public on what they need to be doing. Do you want four more years of what you're going through? I don't want four more years of it. And if you want to support change for the better, I want to tell you what you can do to help. Vote for someone else. Now, I've worked with each of you in some capacity for over 17 years. And with the honorable ladies and gentlemen that we have employed now, we have the potential to put together the best sheriff's department that South Carolina has ever seen. You just don't want people knowing that your police officers burn people's houses down with kids inside or what? You don't know about your police officer burning a house down at 2 o'clock in the morning with children inside of it? Nope. And you're the chief deputy? Yep. 
Another domestic violence charge against a former deputy tonight. SLED says officers have charged 37-year-old Donald Ross Jr. in connection with an assault on his wife in 2016. They say it happened in Georgetown County. Ross used to work for the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office. SLED says Ross now faces four counts of domestic violence, two of second degree, two of third degree. A Spartanburg County Sheriff's deputy is facing charges for falsely stating that he was at a military training when he was not. SLED charged William Reynolds III with obtaining signature or property by false pretenses. Warrants say that Reynolds got paid more than $2,000 from the sheriff's office for days he submitted as military leave. But they say he, in fact, had not attended any military duties. Reynolds was booked into the Spartanburg County Detention Center. Let's all pull together right now and make the change we all know we need. Thank you.